The flags are out in Westerly. A picturesque, sleepy Gloucestershire village wakes up from 400 years obscurity to welcome home four citizens whose birth put Westerly on the maps of the world. For weeks, the village has been quad conscious. At the quadrangle, the quartet's new home, Mrs. Margaret Good, their mother, has a last minute spring clean. She isn't keen on all this fuss. Like every mother, she just wants her baby's home. But the villagers are bursting with excitement and out to make a day of it. On the green, a new bandstand springs up. There hasn't been a day like this since Farmer Clackenbury's mule ate the laundry off the vicarage wash line. And then, with an ear-splitting blast, the band goes into action. Extra police are called in to deal with foreign sightseers. In the words of the village elders, they've never seen a do like this year. To the shrill cheers of schoolchildren, specially given the day off, Mr. and Mrs. Good, with the four baby daughters whose advent made the good name famous, drive home in triumph. Even if he doesn't know what it's all about, everybody else does, and is making the most of it. First to greet the arrivals is little daughter Susan Good. Surprised at having four new sisters all at once, she hasn't quite discovered where she stands. The only ones who are treating the whole affair with disdain are the four whom everyone has come to see. Thirteen weeks old, they're normal, healthy babies, despite odds of 700,000 to one against them ever having been born. Everything they do is now a national event. It's only by pushing past reporters, photographers, film cameras and microphones that their father and mother can take them home. Now that they are home, Charlie Good and his wife hope that soon they can enjoy again the peace and quiet that was theirs before the miracle made them front page news.